Hey everybody, first off, uh, this is Fritters. He's gonna help us demonstrate this modular frame uh, that I 3D printed. This frame is snapped together so you can make basically uh, any size that you want. Today we're going to be framing this picture and the first step is measure the picture you're trying to frame. This one is eight by 10. Actually, this picture is by uh, a Louisville artist named Daniel Ion Lee. Uh, he's amazing. Check out his work. Uh, I'll link to him in the comments. So it's an eight by 10. So first of all, these, pic these pieces snap together. They have these little snaps that I made and there's this little shape that I made for another project that really snaps together well. Get that nice fit. And on the back it says the size of it. So for example, the inside size of this corner is an inch. So to decide how many you need to print out and what sizes, you just take your size. In this case, eight by 10, eight. So we're gonna subtract two for the corners, eight minus two, six. So we need six inches besides the corners. So um, to do that, I made these uh, two and four to make six. So let's connect these together. Then we have six inches. It's got the lip on it uh, for the picture. The front is just nice and plain. I made this plain and flat so it could be very easy to sand and paint. Uh, I may make some textures and designs if people request that. Okay, so for the 10, 10 minus two for the corners is eight. So we need eight inches. So I printed a five and a three. Snap those together. So these snaps are actually pretty strong. You can make them less strong, more strong uh, when you slice it in Cura or other software just by changing the horizontal expansion, but hopefully it'll print pretty well just as is. Let's connect the rest together. I'm actually going to reverse the pattern on these twos and fours just for fun. So the two is here and the four is here, but on top, I've got it uh, mirrored. Uh, so if I were to paint these, it would be, give a cool contrast. And then let's do the same on the side. So we'll make the five at the bottom where the five is on the top before. So the great thing about this is you can make just about any size you want. You can go smaller, you can go larger. And I've got sizes all the way up to eight inch uh, in one inch increments and then a few half inch increments. Great, so now we're ready to put the picture in. I'm just gonna put all three layers, the glass and the picture and the cardboard. Okay, so now um, we're going to put in something just to hold it together. So we've got these little hooks. You've got different heights, you know, you might have thicker cardboard or thicker glass and so on. So I wanted to make these to where you could vary how high they go. And inside here is a little diamond shape. And this piece, basically, when you push it in, just grabs onto that and holds it in. And I designed it to be very uh, hard to get in and out on purpose, just so it would stay in. So that's why I'm using these needle nose pliers. You don't really need a bunch. If you want, you can put them on the bottom sides. Okay, so now you've got yourself a frame, but you're gonna wanna hang this or mount it or put it on a table. So we've got options for that. The most popular way is probably gonna be uh, hanging it. The reason I made two sizes is because sometimes you get lucky and you've got a piece centered with the center in it. But in the cases like this, if we were to put this here, you can see it's not centered because we've got a four and a two. Uh, so in that case, I made this one, and I'm gonna flip this so there's a little bit of room behind it. So these are just uh, large and small nail catches. This is the large. Because it's not centered, the center of the picture is probably like right here. So the large gives you more room to still be able to hang a nail in the middle of the picture. The other option is to use uh, hooks. So you're gonna wanna take your hooks and tie a string to them like so. Um, or wire and you're gonna put it just a little bit above the middle and then my 
my little example piece is not too big enough, but basically you can put a string or a wire uh, across there. Or you may want to mount it on a table. And then we've got this print in place uh, table mount, which is designed to stop it. That can go in the bottom. Um, for a picture this big, I would actually print two of these. This is, I think I'm gonna actually go through a few more iterations to get right. It works great for the smaller picture, but I think I'm gonna have to adjust it for this bigger picture. But basically it, it would hold the picture like that uh, once that's done. What would be really cool is if you were to paint each of these a different color or to have two colors. Yeah, so it's just an easy way to get a, uh, a cool picture. If you like this, check out my other designs and thanks for watching.